Good morning guys, welcome to Supercars of London and welcome to a hotel room. This time last year I was in pretty much exactly the same place down at the Calcutt Manor for the Audi RS3 test drive, press drive and hill climb. Today, outside, I think there's seven McLarens and I have got a time slot of 9am to drive the brand new McLaren 570 GT. You can definitely tell that we're coming into winter because it is freezing this morning. We've dumped our bags in the Porsche that's tucked over in the corner. And this is what we are greeted with this morning. got two hours totally free reign now that I've cancelled the sat nav to go wherever we want to take as many pictures as we want and to explore the car as best as we want and, in, and immediately I'm gonna put everything into sport active now I'm in manual so here comes the turbos softer suspension, a smoother steering column, slightly more chilled out, panoramic sunroof, extended leather inside, which is what makes the 570 GT a better GT car than the 570. But I have to say that there is still plenty of power. Cancelled the sat nav. I really have no idea where we should go. Here we go, you're in front of me on the steering wheel now. this road all day the 570 GT <laughs> and I'm using it 
to do the twisty and the turny country roads in Gloucestershire. Oh. incredibly comfy it's the only way to describe it I just think that they're completely uh, the underestimation that McLaren have of this car I mean they know how good this car is but they're setting new bars for sports cars they're setting new bars for GT cars and combining the two to create an everyday usable comfy supercar that looks as good as it does it's absolutely Madness, absolutely madness. I just did it. A U turn to come back down this road. <laughs> Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! <laughs> it's so fast. Is it as fast as my AMG? No, but it's a different power delivery, which is just as fun. And because you sit right on the front wheels, it's a totally different experience. Oh. And because you do sit over the front wheels in this car, the driving position is so aggressive and so race car-y that you just can't help but just hammer it everywhere. And because of where you are sat, you have so much confidence that you know exactly where the car is, you know exactly how big the car is in terms of gaps and things like that. Whereas in the AMG, you've got the massive long nose. Whereas in the AMG, you've got the massive long nose in front and you sit over the rear wheels. So you have a fantastic feel of the rear wheels, which is why AMGs are so good as a bit of a drift machine. But this car feels like more of a performer. It feels like it's more supercar than GT car. And McLaren have just extended the leather and put a panoramic sunroof in to make you feel a little bit more luxurious, which I mean, does, does the trick. I'm happy with that. Right, okay. Do we go straight over here? That's where we came from. Is that right? Um, it all looks the same. Then we go up there. They're all pretty villages and they all look the same. So McLaren have built a comfortable supercar is the best way of describing it because some of the characteristics that you might find in a GT car mainly the one that I'm thinking about is the fuel economy this is got we've got I mean we've used about that much of fuel and it's saying we've got 70 miles left in the tank my light in my AMG doesn't even come on to tell me to refuel at 70 miles <laughs> at 70 miles left it comes on at like 50 so it's uh yeah mind-blowing it's a mind-blowing car super comfortable i get it
us a, a route down to a golf club, which was a 50 minute drive there and back. And we've spent two hours <laughs> <laughs> driving this car in a one mile radius to the hotel. We didn't even make it to the first checkpoint on the drive. <laughs> Oh man, but we found some awesome roads, drove it around the town, 